Trade Me is just one of a handful of companies that's been snapped up by overseas investors. These are investment companies, known as private equity firms, and they're always on the lookout for anything profitable enough to add to their ranks. In Trade Me's case, the British firm Apex Partners snapped it up for a whopping $2.6 billion. The deal's done and dusted after being approved by shareholders, the court and the Overseas Investment Office. So Trade Me has disappeared from the New Zealand and Australian share markets. Worldwide, these private equity companies have trillions of dollars to spend on such takeovers and their appetite seems to be growing. Over the years, the NZX has lost Trade Me, Teagill, Tilt Renewables, Hallaby Holdings and Goodman Fielder. Just last month, a Mexican firm took over the majority of the fast food company restaurant brands, paying $1.2 billion for it. So the case of the shrinking share market continues. But whose fault is it? Should we not be celebrating the success of Kiwi companies garnering overseas attention? Well, blame has been thrown at the NZX itself for not doing enough to keep companies or entice new ones. But a recent report out of Australia proved just how difficult it is to compete with private equity firms. It said they're so cashed up, they're worth about three trillion US dollars together. That's 15 times the size of New Zealand's entire economy. The reality is, if these private equity companies keep opening up their checkbooks and offer a good enough price, then company boards and shareholders here will take the money and run. For First Up, I'm Madison Reedy.